These woods look peaceful, but they conceal a deadly invader, one that could be coming to a lawn or farm field near you. We have uh, one of our largest players here, which is the Chinese privet or ligustrum. Um, its berries are very well spread by birds, and so they tend to sit in the trees and then drop berries, and it spreads it very rapidly. This is Amanda Takis, who works for the Baton Rouge Parks and Recreation Agency, or BRAC. She says even with full-time employees, they can't keep invasive species like this tallow tree out of the parks here. If people are starting to manage these species on their properties, then we've now created a network of healthy ecosystems opposed to these isolated islands of Breck parks. Just because we are managing a species here, if you've got it on your property you know, just adjacent, it's kind of a losing battle. Invasive species are costing billions nationwide and are so widespread it's difficult for most people to tell what's native and what isn't. Taka says that's why they're putting on invasive plant workshops like this one to help stop their spread. Um, invasive species are probably one of the largest impacts to our native natural habitats in the parish. And so it's important that we are very aware of this problem and that we don't um, make it any worse than it already is. So um, the selling of invasive species and people planting them in their gardens and not managing within their homes only makes the problem worse everywhere else in our natural systems as well. John Huff, a volunteer who attended the workshop, says he's passionate about helping remove these plants, even if it means a little sweat. It's, it just allows you to be outside. You get to you know observe trees and hear birds and so forth. So it, it's a very calm and therapeutic thing to do. So I enjoy that. Complete elimination of invasives may not be possible, but stopping their spread is. For one, be careful what you buy for your lawn. Many species labeled as non-spreading still do. And two, take a look at the beauty of our native species and spread them as much as you like. We have a native alternative for just about any non-native species that you're wanting to put out in your yard as an ornamental. For instance, uh, yapon holly is a great alternative to um, any of the privets that you're typically gonna find in the store. Containment and even eradication of invasive species is only going to become more important as time goes on, but it is possible. It's gonna take both public and private investment and effort to make that happen, but invasives cost $120 billion in damage in the U.S. alone each year, so that investment will pay off. Reporting for this week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm Yoma Lawson. Invasive species training is available in other parts of Louisiana and also online. We'll link you over to more resources on our website at twilatv.org.